Okay, we're moving down the um, continent and heading towards Mesoamerica, and uh, we're going to talk about Yaxilan, and that is in the Chiapas at Mexico. This is from the Maya culture, and it dates from about 725 CE, which is the architectural complex, and it is made out of limestone. So Yashilan is one of the Mayan city-states which arose on the Yucatan Peninsula during the Mayan classical period. While bound by trade and family ties, and also a common culture, these city-states still all competed against each other for dominance. But the Mayan were renowned for their towering temple pyramids and sculptures depicting their gods, rulers, and rituals. So they created vast complexes of terraced temple pyramids, palaces, plazas, ball courts, and residence that would dot the Mayan region, which is, um, and unlike Tenochtitlan, uh, Yashilan had no single Mayan site that ever achieved complete dominance as a center of power, but their architecture and their art, it embellished it and advertised their power of their rulers, and then they also appropriated cosmic symbolism and stressed their descent from the gods to reinforce their claim of the legitimate rule. So they would erect their most sacred and majestic buildings in enclosed, centrally located precincts within their cities, and these sites would serve religious and administrative roles and for the center, and it also was surrounded by the population. At the cores, Mayan rulers staged dramatic rituals in sculpture-filled plazas, which became like this big theater for religion and the state. Uh, Yashilan was probably first founded around 350 CE, but really flourished between 600 to 900 because of the trade activity. So these structures were probably built between those time periods, so really late classical era. Um, and so the bird jaguar, which we're going to talk about in a little bit, planned many monuments scheduled for the erection on the day they, that he chose to become the king of Yashilan. So one of the structures we're seeing in this slide is what's called just structure 40. They kind of just numbered these, so it makes it a little bit more confusing. But structure 40 is the highest of the monuments and the structures were built on hills so they could observe astronomy. So that was one of their functions. So the leader or the king that um, erected these buildings was called the bird jaguar. And um, not only did he, um, you know, have these structures built, but he also um, had these elaborately carved steles which is a variation of the cosmological stele, which commemorates events which occurred from the time his father passed him the flap staff on the summer solstice 10 years before he had ascended um, on his ascension day. So this scene faces the summer solstice at sunrise. Now a line drawn from structure 40 through the center to the stella that I talked about intersects at the center of structure 33. And that's where a statue is placed and that signifies that an axial planning is happening here and they are being very careful that it's astronomically and specifically solar in orientation. So structure 33 is the best preserved building on site and it was probably dedicated in 756. It faces northeast, and the stela is in front, and at the pivot of two ritual axes. At the center of the summer solstice alignment that was created by temples 44 and 30 and stele 1. So it would all kind of converge on the summer solstice right at the middle of those three objects. Okay, so the, the, the lintel that we're seeing on the left is um, an inscription on the lintel reads October 20, 681, the date of Lord Shield Jaguar's ascension to throne as documented in other monuments. It is believed that the creation of this lintel as well as the ritual portrayed in its carving are associated with event. It is about four feet by three feet in height. 
and the buildings in Yashalan were known for their elaborate decorations, particularly their sculptural door lintels that were commissioned by the city's rulers and are believed to document their history. So that's their function. Um, the limestone lintel is one of a series of three panels from Structure 23 at Yashalan and was originally set above the central doorway. All three lintels feature the king's wife, um, Lady, yeah, I'm not sure how to say it, it's XOC, performing crucial duties during the reign of her husband, the King Shield Jaguar. The first two, including this one, depict bloodletting ceremonies deemed crucial to conjuring up royal ancestors, and in the third, she is standing, handing a jaguar helmet to Lord Shield Jaguar, symbolizing his place in the line of kings. The building is dedicated to Shield Jaguar II's wife, which is just as hard as the first name, uh, Lady Ka'ab al Zouk. X O O K. It has particular significance because this is the first building to be constructed after a gap of over 150 years in the dynastic history of the city. It seems that a series of lintels was intended to convey a special special message of refoundation of the site, and the Shield Jaguars building program throughout the city may have been an attempt to reinforce his lineage and his right to rulership. So Lady Juk at the bottom right on the panel is in a hallucinatory stage of bloodletting ritual. She conjures before her a vision of Teotihuacan serpent. Some scholars suggest the serpent on this lintel and elsewhere are depictions of the ancestral spirit or founder of the kingdom. The identity of the figure coming out of the serpent's jaw is ambiguous. The inscription names the protagonist as Shield Jaguar II. <clears throat> the ritual is conducted to commemorate the ascension of Shield Jaguar II to the throne. The inscription is reversed as if to be read in the mirror. This is not common and its true significance is not known. So bloodletting that they're showing in this depiction is a central part of Mayan life from the late pre-classical period onward. So from about 400 BCE uh, to at least 250 CE, and it was especially critical to rituals of kingship. According to Maya belief that a member of the royal family sheds his or her blood, a portal to the other world was opened through which gods and spirits might pass into the world. The image of vision serpent gives visual form to communion between worlds. If it is the vision serpent that we see in Lintel 25, the figure emerging from the creature's open maw may be that of a royal ancestor. Whatever the case, by showing the serpent manifest, the image attests to the royal authority of Lady Zhuk and by extension the shield jaguar. In royal Maya courts, women filled important civic and religious roles that was denied to them in many other Mesoamerican cultures, so that makes that unique, showing this uh, woman in such a prominent uh, female role. Okay, moving on.